All right, guys and girls, welcome to another episode of Astral Auto Repairs. <laughs> Can you dig it? All right, check it out. Behind me, you know what this is. <laughs> the 2003 Dodge Grand Caravan with the 3.3. Uh, complete mess. Last episode, we were just about to pull off the cylinder head. And guys, we're going to be straight up with you right here. We didn't look at it either, so we have no idea what's going on either. So we're going to be looking at this together. Down the rabbit hole we go. Coming up on Astro Auto Repairs. This channel is a member of the Astral Stars, which means we have a zero tolerance policy against the harassment of others. Anybody who violates that policy will be banned. For further information, please visit www.theastralstars.com. All right, guys, here we go. Now, see, last time we just picked it up part ways, but we didn't look at it either. But now, it's time to take this thing to the light, is it? Okay. All right, guys, let's turn this cylinder head over. <laughs> okay, so guys said uh two people said it's that looked at like the valve seat. The um so definitely could be What the heck is that? Oh no, this is covering. Woo! It is the valve seat. Man. Look at the head cracked right there. Oh, look at the head cracked over here. This thing overheated. This car overheated. There's no way you're going to get this crack like this. And what is, or is that just, no, what? that's just carbon right there. Carbon build up right here on the edge right here. Yeah, it looks like, yeah, carbon build up. And then that right there looks like it cut through that piece right there, right? Cut into the head itself. Yeah, and right there. Yeah, cut into the, the head right there where the spark plugs at. Well, um, I guess that's why the ceramic broke. I'll tell you what, guys, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna turn this before we look at the block. We're gonna turn this rick over, and I'm gonna get a hammer and a uh, a socket, and we're gonna shock this really hard, and it's gonna pop the valve keeps out of here and drop that valve out of there. Matter of fact, let me get some rag or something to put up under there. So. Yeah, okay, be right back. All right, guys, first what we're going to do is take a rag and put it right there. That's so the valve don't go down as we hit it. Then I'm taking me a 15 millimeter deep socket, half inch drive with an extension. Some biscuit. One. Okay, and there's two. Okay. The valve keepers are down right inside there. <laughs> Not that we care right about now. Let's turn this back over. Look at that. Hey guys, check and this also guys, this is what they mean by valve seats and all. The valve seat sets right inside there, and then the valve open and closes right up against there, just like that. But this thing actually came out of the head. That whole head just cracked. I guess we, being that it cracked, the head opened up, and that valve seat, seat came right out of there. That sucks. Now, why did it do that? I'm not sure. Maybe it overheated so much that it that because of that big crack, but that's some kind of overheating right there. All right, the next thing we're gonna do, guys, let's set this uh. This is garbage. Um, the next thing we're gonna do is go over here. 
I see the condition of that. Not, not that it's going to matter and all. You know what? Let me, um... Yeah, it's scarred up that thing. You know what, guys? What I'm going to do is let me turn, get, get some... Is it supposed to be any grease in there? Well, when I took the, the silk, well, no, not really. Because <laughs> there was no air freeze in there. So, yeah, that's it's done. Let me turn the engine, and what we're going to do is get that piston up in the air. We'll be right back. All right, guys, you're looking at the piston. I'm going to go up underneath and turn the engine. Then Sylvia's going to tell me to stop once that piston reaches the top. All right, here we go. see some marks in it. Let me get a rag here. Take off the head gasket. Get this out of the way. Look at that. The thing was cutting right into that piston. If this was my vehicle, that is so close. What would I do? You rebuild it. I don't know. Would I take the engine out and rebuild it, or would I take a chance and um, clean it out? Clean the top of the piston. Get two new heads. It all depends on how it ran. And I don't know. And this thing looks like it's severely overheated amongst other things. So as a as being a because this is a customer's vehicle and I can't take any chances with that. She's gonna have to get an engine. And we say she's going to have to get an engine because she already said she can get one. Right. She would want to get one. Right. And we uh, we do not get used engines at all. If the customer wants to get an engine, it's going to have it's going to be rebuilt <laughs> uh, with a warranty and all. But we will not get a junkyard engine and put it in somebody's car. But there we go, guys. There we have it. Definitely stay tuned for part four when um, more than likely... We're going to be yanking the rest of this engine out of here. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back. All right, so this is the end of part three on this 2003 Dodge Grand Caravan with a 3.3 engine. So you guys saw the results when we removed the cylinder head. Uh, but make sure you stay tuned to see what actually is the outcome on this vehicle, what ends up happening with it. Because honestly, we don't know what is going to happen. So, in the meantime, if you guys have any comments or questions, you can post it below in the comment section or you can email Timmy at Tim at AstralAutoRepairs.com. Hope you paid attention. If not, watch it again. This is Sylvia from Astral Auto Repairs. If we can't repair it, nobody can. See you next time.